In this video, you will learn things you should do to improve your React development experience and improve your coding productivity. So I have created a simple React application that just displayed hello on the screen. When we write code, sometimes the code might get lengthy and it does not fit on the screen as you can see here. So we manually need to format the code like this, which takes more time than actually writing the code and will slow down your development speed. So to avoid manually doing all of this, you can install the Prettier extension. In the Extensions menu, if you search for Prettier, you will see this extension. This extension helps to automatically format the code as soon as we save the file. Now, we can install this extension. Now press Ctrl Shift P or Command Shift P to open Command Palette and type Setting in the search bar. Click on Open User Settings option. Type Format on Save in the search box. Make sure to check this checkbox, if not checked. Now again press Ctrl Shift P or Command Shift P to open Command Palette and type Format Document. Click on the Configure button and select Prettier option from the list. Now you can see the file is automatically formatted. So now, anytime you save any file using Ctrl S or Command S, it will be automatically formatted, as you can see here. Now, let's say, I add a deep element with some text like hello, and save the file, you can see the file is automatically formatted and the brackets are also added to make it nicer. So using formatter like Prettier is really useful so you will not waste your time in formatting instead, focus on the actual coding. So this is a must-have extension no matter if you're JavaScript, React, Vue or Angular developer. As you can see the list of supported languages, library and frameworks. Now let's say, I have created a HTML file for example, default.html. Now, instead of writing all the head, meta, body tags yourself, you can just type an exclamation mark and press tab, and the code will be automatically generated. This is possible because of extension called Emmet. Check out the link in the description to learn more about it. With Emmet now, I can just type dot users list and press tab. As you can see Emmet converts it into div with that provided class. Now, I can type some shortcut like this, and press tab. And we get an unordered list with three list items inside it. To use these shortcuts in React code, you need to do some extra configuration. So, if I try to do that here, you can see, it does not work here. So to add that setting, again open Command Palette and open User Settings. Search for Emmet. And under Include Languages, click on Add Item and add Title JavaScript and value JavaScript React. Now, once this is added and saved, you can try that shortcut again. Now you can see, it works. And as this is React code, class name is added instead of just class which is amazing. Now, I can try dot primary btn and hash btn and press tab. You can see, ID and class name are added. So using Emmet makes you more productive when writing code. Now, let's say I have a components folder and inside that, I have header.jsx file. Whenever we create a new component file, we manually need to add import statement and component code which is tedious. So to avoid that manually writing, you can install the ES7 plus snippet extension. And once it's installed, you can quickly write snippet of code using prefixes. To see all the prefixes available, you can click on Marketplace link. Scroll down and click on Snippets link. Here, you will see list of all the available prefixes you can use to quickly generate code. So to quickly generate React functional component with export statement, 
we can type RAFCE and press tab. You can see, the code is generated quickly without the need of writing it from scratch. Now if I create home.jsx file, we can again use RAFCE to create the component code. You can also quickly add use effect snippet. You can also generate use state snippet. To add console.log statement, you can just type CLG. You can see, there is CDM prefix for component did mount. You can also use SST for this dot set state. So this is also one of the most useful extension for React developer. There are also other useful extensions like auto close tag and also auto rename tag which are very useful. So when I rename the start tag, you can see end tag is also renamed. And if I open div tag and when I close it, you can see end tag is also added automatically. So as a React developer, you need to have these extensions installed which helps to improve your productivity a lot. So that's it for this video. If you found this video useful, do like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.